Hi, this video is to help you if your 4G Pocket Wi-Fi kit, when you insert the SIM card, is saying you have a 4G connection, but your data is not coming through and it will not let you get on the internet. To fix this, we will need to log in to the 4G Pocket Wi-Fi kit. I will show you how to do that now. Next, I'm going to show you how to log into the back end of the 4G Pocket Wi-Fi kit. So first, you will need to get your device that's got Wi-Fi on it. Next, you will need to connect your device to your Hawaii connection. And enter the password that's on the front of the 4G Pocket Wi-Fi kit. And click next. And now we are connected. If your 4G Pocket Wi-Fi Git connection prompts you that you have no internet, don't be alarmed, we're going to fix this. Next, we're going to open up a new tab in the web browser. And to log in to the back end of the 4G Pocket Wi-Fi Kit, you will need to put in 192.168.8.1. And hit enter or go. A page like this will then appear. The default username and password is admin and again admin. Once you've put that in, you can hit login. Once you have entered the username or password, you will be brought to this screen. You can tick the auto download box and then click next. Here in the SSID box, you can change your 4G Pocket Wi-Fi's name to something such as Kuma 4G Wi-Fi if you wish to. I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it as Hawaii. Once you've changed that or you want to leave it, you can click next. Next, this is where we are going to enter a custom password for the username and password section at the beginning. So the current password was admin, A-D-M-I-N. For the new password, it needs to be fairly strong. For example, I'm going to put Kuma, Kuma, one, exclamation mark. And the same again. Once you've done that, you can click the finish button. And the kit will prompt you saying success. Once you have finished the setup, you will be brought to the home page. The most common problem for having a 4G signal but no internet is the network provider's APN settings. To check your APN settings on your kit, go to settings, go to dial up and go to profile management. In profile management, as you can see, I already have the three UK APN settings. This is because I've got a three SIM card inside of my kit. If you have no settings input here, you will need to find out what they are by either ringing up your network provider or going on Google and searching for them. Once you have them, to add them, you can click new profile. For example purposes, I'm going to put the Tesco APN settings. So for profile name, you can put Tesco or whatever your chosen network provider's name is. For the username, Tesco's is Tesco WAP. Tesco's APM password is password. And their APN address is prepay.tesco forward slash mobile.com. Once you've input this, you can hit save. You will then, in the profile management section, have the Tesco APN settings. 
you can then go back to home and check that you still have a 4G signal. After this, you can test your internet connection. And as you can see, I now have a internet connection. We hope this video helped you. If you'd like to check out our other troubleshooting videos, you can visit our FNQ page by going to our website, going to support and going to FNQ.